During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about cattle grazing out in corn stalks. Well, you'll see it every fall after harvest. There's just these corn stalks out there, and pretty soon, a farmer's got cattle out in there grazing them. And you say, well, what's going on? How, how much nutrition can they get out there when the corn's already out of the field? But actually, it ends up being a pretty good situation for the farmer and for the cattle. Yeah, and the reason why is because at harvest time, it just seems like there are always some ears that fall off. There are some kernels that fall on the ground from the combine. There's just a little bit of corn scattered throughout the field. So the cattle will graze on that, but then also on the stalks just to get some starch basically in that diet besides just the corn. There are a lot of stalks and a lot of residue out in the field. And when you think about it, for many farmers, they will harvest silage and bring that into the cattle if the cattle are in a yep. feedlot or if they've got a feed bunk that they can stay nearby during the winter, something like that. But when the weather is nice, the cattle love it to go out there and feed themselves out in the field and the farmers like that too. So the whole thing is with farmers grazing these stalks, they have to have good fence around the property. And a lot of farmers like ourselves who don't have cattle on the farm anymore, we've taken the fences out. So one of the things that you do see from time to time is farmers will be out putting up fence posts and just putting one or two electric wires out there. And even just that is enough to keep the cattle inside the field because usually there is enough corn and enough stuff for them to forage on out there. Okay, so what are the impacts of having the cattle walking on the field? Is there going to be compaction from all the cattle trampling down the ground? There certainly can be, especially if the ground is really wet. So you'll see farmers, when it's dry out there, putting the cattle out in the pasture, but you'll also see them bring those cattle back in when you get heavy rains and you start having a lot of mud out in the field because they don't want to have a bunch of issues they've got to fix. But what the cattle are doing for them out in the pasture makes it worth taking some risk because they're actually converting all that residue that's going to take a long time to break down out in the field. They're converting it into manure right away. So farmers love that because manure has available fertilizer right now where corn stalks are going to take months and months and possibly even a couple of years to break down. The last thing that I wanted to throw out here is farmers do have to be a little bit careful because let's say that they sprayed a herbicide on their pasture in the late summer or early fall and now the cattle have taken some of that herbicide into their systems like Tordon for example that's super safe for cattle no problem. The only issue is if then some of their manure ends up out in the crop field, well now where each one of those droppings is, there might be a trace of Tordon left that could last quite a while in the soil and actually kill the next crop. So farmers have to be really careful about what they spray in their pasture and when, keeping the cattle off of that before they're gonna turn them out into cornfields. And before long, there'll be some snow out in many of these northern cornfields and then the farmers will bring the cattle back in because they, they don't want to have them going through two feet of snow trying to get to their food. But there is a nice time here where the weather is good in the fall for cattle to graze these stocks. It's a positive thing for the field, positive thing for the farmer, and a good place for the cattle to be too. Well, the one thing that I wish that cattle would do is very selectively go kill all our weeds and eat all our weeds out in the field. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to do that. So we'll talk about the herbicide options you've got for our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.